guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Loki Kia in Clearwater, Florida. And guess what? We have a performance sedan many people have been wanting to see. This is a 2022 refresh updated Kia Stinger GT2, but this particular one is that special edition known as the Stinger GT Scorpion. But before we get into this game changer of a performance sedan, let's talk about what's going on here. Kia. They really have been doing some major things in the auto industry, turning everybody upside down on their head because of what they're able to do with style, what they're able to do with performance, and also at the end of the day, the pricing. Now, the Stinger really was that vehicle that started to wake people up of what Kia was capable of. It all started back in 2018. Now, we kind of take them for granted because we got the Telluride, we got the Seltos, we got the redesigned K5, the Kia Carnival, the upcoming, uh, upcoming Sportage, but like I said, it all started with this Sportback sedan. Now, for 2022, there are some changes, there are some updates, and what they decided to do to kind of just sweeten the, the pot, so to speak, is bring this Scorpion Edition. Now, this Scorpion Edition isn't necessarily a limited edition. Kia is saying that they're basically building about 250 of these examples, but if demand asks for it, they will be willing to build more of these special trims. So let's go ahead, let's find out, first of all, is the Stinger GT2 Scorpion worth the price? And is this really that midsize sort of performance sedan that you should be buying and driving each and every day? Let's go ahead and find out with our 2022 Stinger GT Scorpion Edition. Right off the bat, I love this color. Fits it to a T. This would be probably the color of my choice that I would get if I was going the Stinger route. Now, for 2022, we do have some restyle changes at the front of the business. You'll still see that great, great headlight design, but you'll notice new daytime running lamps. So we have those LED daytime running lamps, LED headlights, of course, and the turn singles kind of sprinkled in there, sort of like sprinkles on a cupcake. The way they did the styling of the headlight housing, they didn't have to change it. So it has looked this way since 2018, still looking fresh, and it's nice to see how those daytime running lamps kind of freshen things up even a little bit more. Now, as you drop down, you're gonna get those massive functional corner vents. Air curtain, also for extra cooling, a little bit of gloss black, just a little bit of gloss black around the perimeter, but the way that they work the front fascia gives it a nice aggressive look, but also gives it that functionality from an aero standpoint, especially on this lower corner that kind of dips down a little bit. Love the way it curves up into the side fender. Now, as we come across that updated nose design. We have that Tiger uh, nose grill that is synonymous with the brand. You're going to get that black chrome finish around the perimeter and each of the elements have a nice black chrome finish to it. Up top, that is the new Kia badge. So we're starting to see that updated Kia badge trickle on all the different models. And we continue from there, you're going to get gloss black on the lower grill area and more of that beautiful black chrome trim. Now I am gonna have to zonk. We're still zonking these little vents here. It would be nice if they were functional, maybe for some brake cooling, because remember, we got Brembo calipers. Why not bring some more air, especially since that area would be perfectly shaped to channel that air in. And you'll notice how they have that front lip kind of extends out just enough, especially on the bottom here to stop air from going underneath the vehicle. Now, when we get up onto the hood, same exact hood, we are gonna have to zonk the fake vents. It would have been nice on the Stinger Edition, Scorpion style, to have functional heat extractors. It's nice that they're there because it kind of breaks up the sea of, of gray on our particular Stinger, but it would have been even nicer to have them functional. So we are gonna zonk that, but coming around the bend, what is a special part of this Scorpion package? Feast your eyes on these absolutely stunning wheels. So you're going to have a multi-spoke 19-inch wheel with the updated Kia badge. I love the finish, the nice design. And then, of course, you're going to have those tomato sauce red four-piston Brembo calipers going to clamp down on that rotor. Looking really good. All four corners, of course, they've done tons of work to the shock absorbers. 
and to the chassis setup to give us some really great handling. And you can get the Scorpion package on a rear wheel drive, like ours is, or all wheel drive. And that's one of the best things about the Stinger is that it is a rear wheel drive platform, not front wheel drive. But love the color with the wheels. Going down into the fender, you are gonna get gloss black. So on the Scorpion, you're getting gloss black fender vents. These are functional. I'm gonna have Lori kind of swoop around and show that beautiful work. And those vents have been here since day one, but they're looking especially good on the Scorpion trim. Love the way they take the body lines into the door, that nice low side sill. You're gonna get gloss black on the mirror caps. And another nice thing, besides the turn signals built in, black chrome, just along the top. Blends it in nicely. You're gonna have that panoramic, well, sort of like a super-sized sunroof. It's not really panoramic. You know what I'm gonna say, what am I gonna say? Yes, you back, sitting back there in the corner. It would have been nice to black out the whole roof, especially on the Stinger Scorpion. That would have been a nice touch to just have this whole roof blacked out. But I like the trim, love the body lines. Of course, those wheels looking so, so good. And I guess really the most obvious of all the touches is gonna be this very unique rear spoiler on the sport back. So this is a functional spoiler. It's gonna help channel the air off the back glass and pass the rear end of the vehicle. You can see our LED lights. Remember, this has all been refreshed for 2022. The Stinger badge looking great. I'm gonna zonk it though. Would have been nice to black this out on the Scorpion package. Black this out with our GT, I think would have been that little extra something something. And then as we kind of drop down for 2022, you do have an active exhaust. It does get louder depending on which mode you're in. And you still have that quad tip. I like the nice large opening with the quad tips on both sides, that nice rear diffuser, just would have been even nicer not to have this fake vent across. So we are gonna zonk that, but definitely the exhaust make up for it. Speaking of exhaust, let's see what they're bolted to. Let's pop the hood and see the, the power plant for our Stinger Scorpion GT. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts. Would have been nice to have those functional heat extractors, but underneath the hood, you're getting a tasteful engine cover with that turbo badge, because guess what? We not only have one, but two turbochargers. So what are you looking at? You're looking at a 3.3 liter twin turbo V6, 365 horsepower, 376 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in around 4.2 seconds, quarter mile is going to go by at 12.8 at 112 miles per hour and top speed is 167 miles per hour now this sedan weighs around 4,000 pounds mpgs 18 in the city 27 on the highway and what you're going to find is not only are you getting the exterior portion uh portions of the stinger scorpion package but wait until we get to the interior i guess the zonk is there's no performance upgrades so that would have been really that thing that I know I've been asking for is how about make the Stinger Scorpion edition have 400 horsepower? Maybe do some tweaking, extra tweaking to the suspension and kind of make it that halo of a Stinger GT when you're going that Scorpion trim. But why don't we go ahead? Let me know, by the way, how you feel about that, that this car does not have extra horsepower than the standard Stinger GT. I'm curious to know what you think, but let's go ahead, let's fire it up and hear what it sounds like. guys we're inside the 2022 stinger gt scorpion edition i know you're at that point where you're like joe i've been waiting for this one thank you so much for finally bringing it because i need to make a decision i need to pull the pin on a sports sedan and i've been eyeballing this one how much is it so the scorpion package is only available on a gt2 spec stinger gt so you got to go fully trimmed out, and then on top of that, Scorpion is a $1,295 option. The whole total, total MSRP is right around $53,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. 
absolutely love the sexiness. You got soft touch material. When you go Scorpion package, you're getting that carbon fiber. Real deal carbon fiber. Great job on the speaker grill covers, both the small tweeter and then the mid speaker there. Love the white contrast stitching on that mid portion of the door panel. Look at how it has a nice rainbow effect from the switch gear all the way to the edge of the door. Armrest is not the softest, but it's definitely sexy looking. Little bit of silver trim, and then the door pocket is good for about 10 Pop-Tarts and a bottle of milk to wash it all down. Now, when you go from the door panel to the dash, same soft touch material, stitching looking great. Just a little bit of gloss black on the AC vent, but the silver trim just kind of brings everything to a new level. And new for 2022, we had the changes to the outside. This is all new. That is a 10 inch infotainment system screen, that horizontal setup, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, obviously navigation. Is it a touch screen? Of course it's a touch screen. Very easy to get through. We could go right back to our map. Let me throw it into reverse. They upgraded the camera quality. Looking good with trajectory. You got your 360 and look, there's the fake vents on the hood. Plus you can see that nice wheel setup that we have on our Scorpion Edition Stinger and you could go through the different camera angles. Very easy to do, I like that. Always have liked the AC vents, very aeronautical setup, super clean with the stitch work. You got your aluminum look and start stop button, slim and trim on the radio controls and buttons. Of course, we're gonna have dual climate control, more carbon fiber. They just spilled a bucket of carbon fiber. Wish that this gloss black was silver. They should have made it silver like this, so I'm gonna give it just a half zonk because it's not too much gloss black. Open up the carbon fiber door. We got wireless charging, USB, and a 12 volt. So they got you covered there connectivity wise. Look at that door. Two cup holders. This is going to control that eight speed automatic transmission. We got our drive mode selector switch. Well, I'll show you more of that when you come to the business end. Key fob. There is your key fob with the updated badge. Remote start. The only bad news is it's the same key fob that comes on all the models. So if you remember my Stinger GT reviews, the original one sort of looked like a bomb detonator. This one looks more like a Zippo lighter, but it's got the new badging on it and remote start. Put that there. When it comes to switch gear, they got it smart. Ventilated seats, heated seats, easy to operate as it should be. Wick carbon fiber. We got a nice little Twinkie tray here. Hard as a rock, hard as Plymouth rock on the armrest, but the stitching looks good. Kind of makes up for it. Lift it up. What do we got? We got a little tiny coin tray here. You know, all the little coins you've been collecting ever since you were three years old, going to France, going to Mexico. You can keep all your coins here and then easily could put, I would say, 12 king size Snicker bars. Why go small, regular Snickers? Go king size because you are the king, the Scorpion King. See what I did there? Scorpion King in this stinger. Seats, the GT badge, would have been nice to have Scorpion. That's the one thing that doesn't say Scorpion anywhere on this. I want to let people know I'm going to sting them right in the neck. But the seats look great, just like the scales on the back of a Scorpion, if you could even say scales, but that's what they look like to me. Electric assist on the passenger, on the driver, and then like I pointed out, you got that oversized sunroof. It would be nice if it was a full panoramic sunroof, but feeling really good in here, feeling the carbon fiber. Come on over here. I want you to feel the business end, the flat bottom steering wheel of the Stinger Scorpion. All right guys, Stinger GT Scorpion Edition. You do have a little bit of aluminum sill plate here. Another missed opportunity where they could have put Scorpion Edition or maybe the image of a scorpion or maybe somebody dying after they were bit by a scorpion. Could have been right there. But the great news is the foot box, Kia does an awesome job. Nice large aluminum dead pedal, brake pedal and throttle. Of course, we're gonna have our seat controls that are easy to get to, lower lumbar. You could also adjust the bolstering. And what's interesting is when you change the modes, it also changes the amount of bolstering. I'm six feet tall, I got plenty of headroom. Steering wheel, spot on the money. Nice flat bottom steering wheel. It's got the updated Kia badge. I like the silver trim, the GT badge. You do have paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that eight speed automatic. And the steering wheel is electric tilting and telescoping. And then the dash, nice blending of old school analog tack and speedometer, fuel gauge and coolant gauge. And then in the center there, you got your auxiliary gauges. Here's your different modes. You can go into sport, 
Comfort, Eco, and Smart. Wish there was a Sport Plus mode like on the G70, but what I do really like is you have your turn single cameras. Nice and easy to use and a head-up display to give you that pertinent information so that you can keep your eyes focused on where you want to go and that's hopefully that direction. But you know where I want to go next? I want to actually go that way and check out the back seat in the Stinger. All right guys, back seat time and the great news is with that sexy roof design, you're not losing any headroom here. Remember, just like up front, I'm over six, I'm six feet tall. Back here, I'm six feet tall and I got plenty of headroom. Back to the seats, you are gonna get that plastic, which I know is nice if you're a parent and it's easy to keep clean, but I am gonna zonk it, including these cargo nets. It just, I don't know, like I said, kind of kills the overall high-end feel. You do have the same AC vents, just like you do up front in the back, and we do have a USB and a 12 volt, and they even brought the carbon fiber all the way to the rear passenger. So you have a little bit of carbon fiber to enjoy as you're sitting in the back seat. But like I said, plenty of leg room, plenty of head room, carbon fiber on the door panels up here. And then of course we're gonna have an armrest. I don't know, they need to soften it up. A little bit hard for an armrest, but you have the two cup holders and that sexy seat pattern, which remember is new for 2022. But let's see where the Stinger GT dominates. Let's go back to that cargo area and see what we could fit in our Stinger GT Scorpion Edition. All right, guys, time to get into the most surprising part of the Stinger. Every time I showcase this, it even still blows me away to this day. Hitting the button, nice electric assist. That back, sport back is gonna rise up and look at the amount of room. This separates it from the sister vehicle, the Genesis G70. This definitely separates it from so many of the competitors because guess what? Underneath that sexy back, we got 23.3 cubic feet of space with the seats up, 40.9 cubic feet of space with the seats down. That just really maximizes the versatility of this Stinger GT. But while we go ahead, let's talk about the best part. Let's go do the best part. If you're ready, I'm ready. We got a Stinger. I wanna go and get it done and go on throttle. Let's go do it. All right, guys, we're leaving Loki Kia. We're in this 2022 Kia Stinger GT Level 2 Scorpion Edition. Right away, I always love being behind the wheel of any Stinger, especially a GT2 and especially this Scorpion Edition. Looking in the rear view mirror, you do get to see that optional rear wing that's part of the package. The carbon fiber everywhere is spot on the money. And the great steering feel is phenomenal that you get in these stingers real wheel drive just brings up the overall fun factor and if you want you can get the all-wheel drive as well all right guys driving down the road easy to get to everything love having the gt2 trim because you're getting those ventilated seats heated seats and i know many people would say well joe wouldn't you rather have the g70 no not for me i like the overall experience that you get in the Stinger better, especially the usability of that sport back, the steering wheel, and, and like I said, I prefer analog gauges with a little bit of digital instrumentation kind of blended in. Seats are comfy and supportive, and they look really, really freaking sexy. So that's another great sign of the Stinger, especially for 2022. That 10-inch infotainment system screen is a nice addition. And I'm telling you right now, wait until you see this carbon fiber. Two memory seat settings, of course, so you could let, you could share your Stinger with somebody and get the uh, seat back exactly where you want it. All right, let's go ahead, guys, and go on throttle. On throttle, here we go. Nice, look at this. Woo! I'm telling you, it gets the power down really, really well. The front end communicates with the rear end of the vehicle to allow you to feel confident behind the wheel. And that's what I've always liked about the Stingers and their overall driving dynamics. Sound could be improved. I would like to see a little bit more sound from the Stinger GT, but let's go ahead and make a left here. Look at this. There we go. Woo! <laughs> nice! Very, very balanced left to right. You got plenty of room, like I keep saying in this thing. 
and it's going to be interesting to see what the next level of the Stinger GT is going to be about. But I'm telling you right now, if you've been waiting for one of these, this particular one with the Scorpion trim, it's the way to go. I like the power, man. You're not waiting for the boost to kick in from the turbochargers. Here we go. I throttle. Smooth shifts from the 8-speed. Very, very nicely done. And then it looks good. It's a good-looking sedan. But you don't get to say that very often about many different sedans. Having that lane watch type system with the cameras really allows you to see the blind spots and everything very well. Mirrors are large. But here we go. High throttle. Nice. Brakes feel good, just with like a little bit more. I'm telling you, this car with 400 horsepower, I think would be the sweet spot. I really, really do. Especially with a little bit more sound. They got the brakes, it's got the chassis dynamics. It could handle a little bit extra power, especially in, in a special edition um, like this Scorpion, I think just would have really set it off. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the driving experience is all about and what the Kia Stinger GT brings at that Scorpion special edition level. But we're gonna get back to Loki Kia and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another great day here at Loki Kia. I definitely gotta thank Danny, Robert, and the rest of the crew getting us their very first Stinger GT, that GT2 Scorpion Edition. Is it worth the price? I wanna know what you think. We went over it with you. We showed you the details. We showed you the driving experience. Put in the comment sections how you feel about the price. Is this the best sports sedan to buy? You definitely wanna add this to your list of test drives, especially when you're looking at those German Euro competitors. But if you wanna keep seeing fun driving, real wheel drive sedans here on Ready's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for being part of the Ready's Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, two ways to do it. Click the first link in the description, become a Ready's Rise Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Ready's Rise merch. Gotta give it out to the queen of the camera. Best videographer in all the land. She brings it to you. Show Lori some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.